Hi, welcome to Hymns with Ken. This channel was created in hopes that it would reach those who are shut-ins or simply cannot go to church to participate in worship. This channel is also meant to reach out to those who have never heard these older and powerful hymns of the church. My prayer is that you would be ministered to by God's Holy Spirit as you listen, either for the first time or for the hundredth time. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you will receive all the new updates that I am able to post. O come, all ye faithful, written in 1743. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. When they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew 2, 11. John Francis Wade, author of this hymn, was hounded out of England in 1745. He was a Roman Catholic layman in Lancashire, but because of persecution arising from the Jacobite rebellion, streams of Catholics fled to France and Portugal, where communities of English-speaking Catholics appeared. But how could he, a refuge, support himself? In those days, the printing of musical scores was cumbersome, and copying them by hand was an art. In the famous Roman Catholic College and Ministry Center in Douai, France, Wade taught music and became renowned as a copyist of musical scores. His work was exquisite. In 1743, Wade, 32, had produced a copy of a Latin Christmas carol, beginning with the phrase, Adest fidelis lete triumphantis. At one time, historians believed he had simply discovered an ancient hymn by an unknown author, but most scholars now believe Wade himself composed the lyrics. Seven original hand-copied manuscripts of this Latin hymn have been found, all of them bearing Wade's signature. John Wade passed away on August 16, 1786, at age 75. His obituary honored him for his beautiful manuscripts that adorned chapels and homes. As time passed, English Catholics began returning to Britain, and they carried Wade's Christmas carol with them. More time passed, and one day an Anglican minister named Reverend Frederick Oakley, who preached at Margaret Street Chapel in London, came across Wade's Latin Christmas carol. Being deeply moved, he translated it into English for Margaret Street Chapel. The first line of Oakley's translation said, Ye faithful approach ye. Somehow, ye faithful approach ye didn't catch on, and several years later, Oakley tried again. By this time, Oakley too was a Roman Catholic priest, having converted to Catholicism in 1845. Perhaps his grasp of Latin had improved, because as he repeated over and over the phrase, Adeste fidelis late triumphantes, he finally came up with the simpler, more vigorous, O come, all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. So two brave Englishmen, Catholics, lovers of Christmas and lovers of hymns, living a hundred years apart, writing in two different nations, combine their talents to bid us come, joyful and triumphant, and adore him, born the King of Angels. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord.